5 to 30 rep range is not equally stimulating for hypertrophy. It's literally impossible. Anybody will tell you that using a higher rep range is going to be more tiring, more miserable, have more burning sensations than the lower rep range. Even the people that preach higher rep ranges say this because they say that people that train with lower reps are just lazy. And these uncomfortable sensations from the greater cardiovascular demand, the greater amount of burning sensations from the greater amount of metabolite accumulation, these things are going to reduce motor unit recruitment. Let's say you took a set of 20 reps to failure, right? And you took those first 15 reps in that set that are not going to be stimulating for hypertrophy, but they're going to make you more tired. You're going to have more of a burning sensation. You're going to be more uncomfortable, right? How are you going to tell me that when you're in that uncomfortable state from those first 15 reps, that that is going to be equal to if you just were not uncomfortable from those first 15 reps and you just did a set of five to failure. Like that makes zero sense. <laughs> Like, it's literally no different if I tried to do cardio before my set to get myself in that state of uncomfortableness from those burning sensations and the cardiovascular demands. And then afterwards, right afterwards, I tried to get my stimulating reps for hypertrophy. It makes no sense. I'm willing to say that if you're on the higher end of that rep range, like 30 reps or something, you're going to be so miserable that you're going to terminate your set way too far from failure to even get a stimulating rep.